Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this 3D logo reveal animation is done in After Effects without using any third party plugin. You can use any kind of text or whatever logo you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and you can see that I have already downloaded a couple of these files. So first we have this HDRI which you can download from Polyhaven website. So just go to polyhaven.com and from here you can go under the studio category and you can see that we have a bunch of different lighting setups over here. So I'm using this studio small 3. So just click on it and after that you can just download 1K or 2K resolution. You don't have to like go extremely high. Just download whatever you want and just click on download and it will download a .hdr file and after that you can import it in After Effects and you are ready to go. Also I have imported this logo which is this Motion Nations logo and it's a PNG file but we basically want to create a shape layer from all of whatever logo we want to use. So there are two ways in which you can do that. So let's say you have a PNG file and you can create a shape layer from it. I'm going to show you how to do that but you can also use a vector file. So let me just quickly show you how to do that. So over here we have this logo uh, which is the illustrator file. So I can import this in After Effects. So just click on OK. Now here you can see we have this composition and we have our logo. Now we can convert this into a shape layer by simply selecting this layer, right click and let's go to create and let's create shape from vector layer. And here you can see we have created this shape layer. Now in order to create the shape layer from the PNG file, let me show you how to do that. So first let's select this and let's drag it onto this composition icon so that it will create a composition. Now we are going to first trace the outline of this. So for that we can select this, then go to layer we have this auto trace option just click on it and over here you can see we have a bunch of different options so you can play around with the threshold so if you lower it down you can see that it will create a very nice outline so you can see that the outline is sticking to the outside points just like that and you can play around with these settings so just click on ok now you can see that it will create this so this is basically a mask layer but we want to create this into a shape layer so for that we can just simply click and just select the pen tool just click wherever you want make sure none of the layer is selected after that open up this shape layer go to content we have this shape and we have this path option now let's select this auto trace layer and if i open it up you can see we have this masks over here we have two masks because we have two letters so i'm going to select the mask one first and if i open it up we have mask path over here so we already have a keyframe so just select this keyframe press ctrl c to copy it now select the path and you can press ctrl v to paste it now here you can see we have created the shape layer from this mask and the same way we can do the second letter as well so let's select this shape and press ctrl d to duplicate this now let's open it up let's open the path and from here we can probably remove the keyframe we don't want to see that now let's open up the mask number two so let's open it up we have the mask path so again let's select this keyframe press ctrl c to copy it now we can select this path and press ctrl v so here you can see we have created the shape layer from our png logo file now we can hide this and we are ready to play around with this so once you have converted the whatever logo you have into the shape layer you are ready to animate it into a 3d space so let me show you how so for this one we are going to use this logo and i'm going to quickly open this up and let's go to a search for color and i'm going to quickly change these to white just like that perfect so once you're done with this, we are ready to create a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp, and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, and duration you can pick whatever you want. Now, one thing you have to change is go to 3D settings, 3D render settings, and after that you can change the rendering engine from classic to cinema 4D. Make sure to do this, otherwise you won't be able to proceed forward. So after that, just click on OK. Now it will create a new composition. Now we can go inside this composition and we can select our logo. Press Ctrl C and we can go back over here and press Ctrl V. So here we have our logo. Now I'm going to quickly align it to the center using the align panel. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now I'm going to select this. Let me just quickly call this logo. Perfect. Now we can press S and let's scale this down. Nice. Now we can make this layer 3D by simply clicking on this icon. If you're not, not able to see this, then you can probably click over here like this to make this appear. So once it is 3D, you can see we have this geometry option. Now if I open it up, we have the extrusion depth. Now you can play around with it however, however you want. So for this example, I'm going to set this to 110. 
so it will create some 3d depth to it but you won't be able to see it because we don't have any kind of lighting in our scene let me just quickly right click and let's say create a camera to see what we have created so right click new let's create a camera so i'm using this 35 mm just click on okay now you can click on this icon or you can press the shortcut which is c to click and drag so you can see we have this 3d logo but we are not able to see any kind of depth to it because we don't have any lighting so let's quickly add some lighting to our scene so for that you can right click let's go to new and let's go to light and from here you can pick whatever light you want i'm going to use parallel light because we are going to eliminate this logo from all the directions but you can also use point light or spotlight as well so i'm using 100 percent intensity just click on okay so right away you can see we have this logo now i'm going to quickly change this from this active camera to top so that we can see what we are doing we basically are going to play around with the light and we are going to place it an, at an angle so let's select this light and i'm going to like place it somewhere around here now if i click on light we have this point which you can like move around you can make the light closer and you can move around and just place it wherever you want so we have want one light from here now we can select this press ctrl d now we have one more light and i can just simply move it to this side uh, like that now we can select this and if i click and move you can see we have eliminated this side as well now we can go back to the active camera now here you can see we are able to see some 3d depth like this but we have to add more lights to like make it really stand out so again let's go to the top view now we can select both of these slides and let's press ctrl d to duplicate these now let's move to the top and we can select one of these slides so let's select this one and let's move it to the back side like that just place it like this again we can select this endpoint and let's like rotate it and point it towards the logo like that so we have this light over here and again i'm going to like move it to the back side let's place it somewhere around here now again we can just click on this point and let's move it like that now we can switch this to active camera so here you can see we are able to see some really nice lighting we basically have illuminated this from all the directions perfect so once you're done with this we now need to have some reflections into this so for that we can use this hdri so first i'm going to go to composition new com and let's call this one hdri or whatever you want for this one we can probably set this to like classic 3d we don't have to do it to cinema 4d now we can select this and let's drag it over here now it's a quite big image so we can press s let's scale this down now i need mul multiple copies of it like around this for that we can search for motion tile effect let's drag it over here now we can change the output to something like 200 or 200 or we can probably set this to like 500 by 500 perfect now i want these to be like moving we don't want like our lighting to be static or reflections to be static so for that you can like move the center point and let's just place it somewhere around here perfect now we can add a keyframe for it now let's move like a couple of frames ahead let's move to like seven seconds and after that we can like move it to this side so now if i press play you can see we have this image moving basically to the diagonal side and this is exactly what we want so once you're done with this we can go back to our main composition and under this we can drag our hdri comp which we just created now we basically want this to act as an environment so for that you can select this layer right click and over here we have this option for environment layer so if i click on that you can see that we are not able to see the layer but it is acting now as an environment so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now we can play around with the material of this logo so if i select this let's go to material options which we have under here now we have a bunch of different options which we can play around so first we have this reflection intensity so if i increase this up you can see we are able to see some reflections like this now there are a lot of things that you can play around so if i increase this up let's lower down the reflection sharpness and we have the specular intensity which we can like lower it down something like this so now you can see we are able to see some metallic characteristics 
like this now over here we have re reflection sharpness so if i lower it down you can see that it will make your like make the texture very blurry or very rough like this if you want to go with this look then it's completely up to you if i increase this to 100 you can see that now the reflections are very sharp like this so for this one we can probably like lower it down a little bit something around let's say 85 or 90 perfect now reflection intensity again you can lower it down to make it less reflective or i'm going to set this to 100 for now and we have specular intensity if i increase this up you can see that it will make the whole logo white but let's lower it down to something like one or two let's keep it something around four perfect so here we have our 3d logo and we are pretty much done with this and if you want to play around you can just play around with these settings however you want perfect so once you're done with this we can probably close this out now our next step is to animate this out so for the example that i showed you i basically animated different scenes for this so let me just quickly show you how to do that so we have this camera and i'm going to quickly select this and let's just rotate it to a nice angle so you can see that we are able to see the reflections at different angles let's pick a nice angle so something like that it looks good now if you want to zoom in you can just click on this now you can click and drag and here you can see we are able to zoom in quite nicely now you can again click and like rotate it at an angle something like that so at all the different angles you will get different lighting now there is one more thing that you can do to really enhance this out so if i select this logo and if i go inside this you can see we have this option for bevel and i can set this to angular concave or convex whatever we want let's set this to angular now you will notice that it will create some highlighted edges like this so here you can see we have some highlight edges now i can increase this up by simply increasing this value like that so now you can see we have some very nice bevel here as well now you can play around with different type of bevels so for example we have the concave one over here now you can see we have some different beveling at the edges and you can play around with the convex as well so all of these will give you different looks so now you can see we have some really nice bevels as well so in this way you can play around with these values however you want and let's just lower it down to something like two and let me just quickly play around so if you click on this you can like click and drag to move this logo around something like that so once you're happy with this you can select this camera and let me just quickly open it up go to transform and we have this position and orientation and point of interest now let's add a keyframe over here now let's move to somewhere around three seconds we basically want to like have very subtle movement so i'm going to like move it to this side like that so here you can see we have this movement let me just quickly set this to quarter so if i press play you can see we have this very subtle movement like this so in my example i just animated these bits so for example you can like press n you can just render out this region so it will give you a video clip which has only this thing now after that you can just simply select this main composition and press ctrl d to duplicate this now open it up and from here we can probably get rid of these keyframes now just create a different scene so let's just pick a different angle so for this one we can like probably zoom in more like this and let's place it somewhere around here again you can add keyframes and let's move to somewhere around three seconds and after that you can just click and drag like this and we can probably like move a little bit up as well just like that so now if i press play you can see we have created this animation and we have a lot of reflections in the scene as well now if you want to make this slower then you can move these keyframes like far away and it will make the motion very smooth now you will notice one more thing that we have certain colors on these parts if you want to like make this like completely black and white then you can just simply search for tint and let's just simply drag it over here onto this one and we can probably place it at the beginning now if i go back to the main comp you can see that it will get rid of all the colors whatever we have so in the same way i animated like three four scenes let me just quickly show you how i did that so in the final output you can see i have rendered out three scenes so this is scene one which is basically this logo moving like this 
and we have the scene two in which I moved the logo like this and then we have this scene the next scene like that and also I have added some curves to this to like make them look a little bit more contrasty let me just quickly show you over here like that again this is completely up to you you can just play around with this and for the last shot we have this logo like flipping and coming to the normal position let me just quickly show you how to create this one so let's go back to this main com and we can select this main two let's press ctrl d to duplicate this let's open up the main three and for this one we can probably like get rid of everything let's reset the camera so that we have this front view so first i'm going to press s and let's just scale this down we can scale this down to a point what we think that this is going to be our final position or the scale so i think yeah this is looking good perfect so once you're done with this we can select this now let's press r for rotation let's add keyframe for everything let's press p for position let's add a keyframe for this as well now you can press u to reveal everything now i'm going to select all of these keyframes and let's move them a little bit ahead because this is going to be a final position but in the beginning i'm going to like add some rotation to this so let's rotate it along the y-axis and let's add a little bit of rotation to the z-axis as well now i'm going to like place it close to the camera so i'm changing the z position like that now if i press play you can see we have this logo and it will like rotate and it will go back to its original position like this now we can select all the keyframes press f9 to ease them then let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph and for this one we basically want this to like start very fast so i'm going to like change the graph to look something like that so in this way our logo will like start moving very quickly so now if i press play you can see we have this logo and it is rotating and going back to its original position now if you want you can like have more rotation so i can probably like increase this up quite a bit now it will have more rotation like this again this is completely up to however you want to play with this now i did the same thing over here as well so here you can see we have this logo and it is rotating and going back to its original position and at last in order to reveal the final logo i just simply animated the opacity so if i select this layer you can see we have this simple opacity layer so the final logo just simply appears like this and after that you can add whatever text you want so in this way you can create these kind of very nice shiny 3d logo reveal animations in after effects and the best thing is that you can use any logo you want so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one